Hi, welcome or welcome back to Life on the Fringe. So today is Halloween, have Halloween. So we aren't going to be going out, so we thought let's take our babies trick-or-treating. But the thing is, I like to make things complicated for myself, so I thought let's try to find some YouTube tutorials on how to make healthy hamster treats for our hamsters and then we'll take them trick-or-treating in a little neighborhood I've set up in the house or apartment. So, all right, so we're gonna move on to making uh, pumpkin pie, which I think is gonna be the hardest thing we're gonna be making today. Even though so far, absolutely nothing besides the banana treats have turned out as expected. So, we have meatloaf carrot cake, uh, we have sawdust treats, um, but then the banana, the banana ones look pretty good. Banana oats look pretty good. So we're pulling it all out for the pumpkin. Now, first thing you need to make pumpkin pie is a pumpkin. That's right. So we are going to be carving a pumpkin. <laughs> um, waste not, want not. So we're going to use one we already have that is a sweet pumpkin that we painted. First I want to show you my cute pumpkin, but then we're not going to carve that one because I, I carve a cute pumpkin. So my cute pumpkin this year is this little guy. And I designed this pumpkin because 2020 is scary enough as is, so I wanted my Halloween to be a relaxing occasion. Okay. <clears throat> now, We're going to be carving this guy, who's also very cute. It's a Christmas jack-o'-lantern, very creative. My partner's very creative. I did that. Yes. Um, but this is going to be our sacrificial pumpkin. Look at this. Uh, there's Santa there and Rudolph with a red, blonde, the red nose. Look at that attention to detail. Very beautiful. And the fire truck, or the red pickup truck with the Christmas tree. Love it. That's a classic. Yeah, class, classic. Um, anyhow, so we're going to be carving this pumpkin. So, let's prepare for that. We, here we go. Big knife time. Oh, shit. Too big of a knife. Yeah, that's kind of large. We have a little pumpkin, so. Small it's Still pretty big. What do you want me to They're use? They're the same size. What about the ones on the left? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Thank you for your sacrifice. Should I just cut it in half? Would that be easier than cutting a hole? Yeah. You don't have to, you're not going to make a jack-o'-lantern. You wanted me to use a smaller knife? Well, now that you're cutting it in half, maybe not. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Don't hurt yourself. I'm trying not to. Merry Christmas. Oh my God. We're gonna be cursed. Wow, you're so strong. Okay, so we have our pumpkin. Get my hair out of the way for these gut carving part. So we just are gonna 
go on the inside here. Like so. So many seeds. If you're interested, we did an experiment you know, earlier this year, because we carved a sweet pumpkin earlier this year as well. You're a like sweet that. pumpkin. Huh? You're a sweet pumpkin. Aww. You're gross. <laughs> um, what the heck? So, anyhow, we carved... This is more mush porn. Um, but we carved a, a regular carving pumpkin and then also a sweet pumpkin to harvest the seeds for our hamsters. And you get, like, more seeds in a sweet pumpkin than you do in a carving pumpkin, we found. Like, for the price. And on top of that, um... On top of that, uh... The hamsters found no difference. So if you weren't going to buy a sweet pumpkin, we buy them to paint them. But if you weren't going to buy a sweet pumpkin, um, your hamster will eat your, your uh, roasted seeds. All you have to do is just not season them and then just put them in the oven and roast them for a little bit so they don't get moldy like when you store them. And they will eat them. Uh, it was like the biggest money-saving thing we've done because we were going to buy the pumpkin anyway. And buying like just a bag of pumpkin seeds for hamsters can be expensive or sunflower seeds. This was like so cheap. And then we got a head of a sunflower for a dollar at our orchard. We have like a billion seeds now for like nothing. So that's a life hack for those of you with uh, hamsters out there. Or, but for those of you who are just watching to like see me fail at like YouTube tutorials, you know, hi. <laughs> okay, so we've carved, I think about most of the seeds out of this. See how much seeds that, like that is the majority of the pumpkin is seeds. That's crazy. So now we need to determine what part of this we're supposed to like, is it this, I think it's the stringy bit that we're supposed to be like putting in the pie. <laughs> Thought I wasn't prepared. Look at these cute, I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree. You know what, if I wanted to ever get a sponsor, I want to be sponsored by the Dollar Tree. Like, I'm all for it. Sign me up. You know, you can just pay me in gift cards. You know? Alrighty. So this recipe, again, comes from Vanilla Ham Ham. Um, so she starts with the dough. So maybe we just leave the pumpkin for now. Come back to the pumpkin. Yes? What do you think? Sure. Okay, so the recipe calls for a teaspoon of flour, a fourth of teaspoon of peanut butter, and a half teaspoon of water to make the dough. I've used spoons or measuring spoons so much in a day in my entire life. Okay, a teaspoon of flour. And for this one, again, we're using the buckwheat flour. I am positive they're using a bleached version of this somehow. She said whole grain actually later in the video for this. This is whole grain. So, she didn't actually say buckwheat, she said whole grain, but it's whole grain. Um, 
But they have to be using a bleached version for it to be turning out the way that they're turning out. But anyhow, so that's some that's the tea. St this stuff st sticks to everything. What are you doing? Teaspoon and a half? I'm just adding a little bit to add it in the, the sand. It was stuck. Okay. Uh, then she says a half teaspoon of water, right? And a fourth teaspoon of peanut butter? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Water. Now. This is not the recommended, I'm sure, peanut butter for hamsters. I'm sure you're supposed to use something organic with less sugar. I cannot justify buying another thing of peanut butter when we have a thing of peanut butter this size. It is the size of my face. So, you know, we're using the buckwheat flour, all right? And give us some credit. So... Now we go to a fourth of a teaspoon. That is a little. Look at a little. That was useful. Get. This is unpleasant. So this is supposed to turn into dough. All right. So I'm I'm ready. Maybe a little whisk. Mini whisk. Yeah, mini whisk. Look how cute this little guy is. Mini whisk. My um, we found him at a garage sale when I was getting ready for college. Um, I wouldn't have very much storage. There is no way that this is doughy enough. <laughs> what? The juxtaposition of like how white hers looks and how burnt yours looks. Shut up. That's not. Listen. Listen. Okay? Where are they getting this freaking flour? <laughs> I don't know. Get bucked, son. Okay. And then I'm gonna add more water. Maybe I'll use a half. Maybe I'll use a fourth of teaspoon first. Of water. That did nothing. Gonna do well, it. Mix it first. There you go. Maybe she has tiny hands. Hers looks like. Slightly larger than mine. Okay. God, I don't even want to touch it. Like, look at this. Ashy. Knead okay. until it becomes like a dough. Kneading it, folding it, all kinds of freaking everything. It's fairly doughy. Not too much stick. A little bit more flour on my hands. It smells like peanut butter, so that's a plus. I think adding the extra peanut butter was a good move. They do like part. peanut butter. Yes, so. Okay, now we have our crust. Oh, that looks terrible. Now she rolls with something. Like a toothpick, um, a chopstick. We have chopsticks. Yeah, over in the drawer where the teaspoons are usually kept. No. These do, oh, these teeth, I got you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was unclear. Far right, there should be some chopsticks. Brilliant. Brilliant. 
I was going to use a pen. Oh, I had, a, I had a flower with a chopstick. Okay. Now we look. All right. No need to be. Hey, it's kind of doing it. I know it's a weird color, but this is doing what dough does. Right. You know, it's Halloween. It's going to be black and, and orange. orange. Spooky. I did it on purpose. Guys, I've been in on it the whole time. Oh, oh, now, now look at that. oh. This baking dish. What the heck that is she that? Has. So that's why I saved this bit of tin foil. So this is gonna be our pumpkin pie dish. Cause I really have no idea what else we could, do you know of anything in, that we could use? We're gonna have to go with this. Yeah. Now. You're gonna need something to shape it in though anyway. Yeah, but I can shape it by the shot glass, I think. Yeah. So, without a shot glass, who the heck has baking dishes that small? Well, her, her whole channel is like, well, not all of it. Some of it's like her hamster, you know, or like whatever. But a lot of her videos, from what I've seen, are like hamster recipes. And then her hamster eats the, um, uh, I think it's like a little hamster piece. They're really cute. They really are like quite adorable videos. Do you think I have enough to go on this side or should I make it this size? Uh, I think you should do the other size. This size? Yeah. Table so that it's a flat pie. And voila! Yeah? Indistinguishable. I mean, I don't see a difference. I don't see a difference. Um, Yours is silver and theirs is purple. That's the only difference. Pretty sure theirs is silver, but okay. It looks purple to me. What? I think they're looking, I think it's a filtered video because that should be like a metal pan. Oh, that's a metal pan? Okay, never mind. Sorry. So, it's very thin. You don't think this is as thin? Also, make sure that you can pick it up still. Nice. Look at that. I'm like a freaking pro. Now we now we take this and push it to the center. 
This is the part I'm a little concerned about breaking. It has broken. It's okay, we're gonna fix it. You need, you need a vent, like, so that the pressure doesn't build up underneath and then break the whole thing. You did it intentionally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's definitely not falling apart. I think I made the sides too tall to my crust. Like to my um, pie tin, tin yeah. thing. See, you wanted it thinner and now we'll get it. I'm blaming you. I think it looks great. Okay. I think it's patched. Now they're going to be sharing one pie because I'm not making three of these. That's crazy. <laughs> so they each get a slice of pie, which is normal, right? That's what normal people do. They have a slice of pie. They don't eat a whole pie. Um, to salvage all the dough I can because I'm going to have to make a lid. All right. So oh, yeah. We're skipping this. She does this whole, like, fancy, oh, look at the, I'm going to make the crust look like it, you know, folded. No. I don't, this isn't even that part. I'll show you. It's, look at this. Now, now wait, this is like, okay, all right, I kind of did that, just poorly, you know. Now wait. Look at this. In what world is that dough that is falling apart doing that? No world. No world. <laughs> At all. So either she doubled her recipe to make her dough thicker, or the flour is different. Maybe I added the peanut butter, I should have just done more flour and water. But buckwheat, I can't with. <laughs> now she has her pie. Now she scoops her pumpkin. So we need the pumpkin flesh. It looks like it's... It's just the mushy stuff. The, this part, right? Yeah. And then she mushes it with a spoon. I'm telling you. It, so many f spoons. Just stay here. Stay here. spoon in here and we've been doing dishes like how many spoons do we have a whole set we have a whole set that we got from our registry thank you to my family um we have a whole set of spoons and we're down to one spoon that we haven't used yet today so whatever Get this flesh. Now, should I use some of the side of this flesh or just like the stringy flesh? Thoughts? Uh, I would just use the stringy flesh. Yeah, there's not very much stringy flesh in these. But we'll make it work. You know what this night could end in? Uh, disaster? I don't know. Me just hating my hamsters. <laughs> They're not going to eat anything. They don't eat anything. You know, they don't even want to play with us. They're just like, nope. No, not tonight. Not tonight, Mom. They're sassy like that sometimes. Not really butter. But the other two can be sassy. Especially Patch. Oh my god. All right, so now she mushes this with a spoon. 
I don't know what, sorry, I don't know what the mushing does. Also, yes, I see there are seeds in there. They eat seeds. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Listen, our dough is black. There's no going for perfection here, right? It may, it reminds them that it's homemade. That's it, right. You do that with pasta sauce. You leave a couple chunks in there. Right, or you leave some, some tomatoes. Yeah. Exactly. This isn't human pumpkin pie. It's not a gelatinous mixture. This is going to be, I think, fairly still juicy, actually, on the inside when they crack into it. How does hers look like that? It's like puree. You know, people call out like five minute crafts because their crap is like just unreal. And I will be doing some five minute crafts because they can't be called out enough. But you know, sometimes it's like, it's not like I think that Vanilla Ham Ham or Victoria Rochelle with their treats, I don't think they're lying or anything. Sometimes I think the directions are a little unclear. But like, this is not their first attempt making this recipe. You know what I mean? Versus like, you're doing it at home, it's your first attempt. You know, I think steps are being skipped a little bit for the sake of time. I also don't know how many people would like look at this video and go, oh, that looks easy to make. <laughs> Do you think that looks like similar enough? Maybe they're using more of the like skin part of the... More, like I said, the outside? Maybe, yeah. All right, I'll put a little bit of the outside in. I mean, they're hamsters, right? Like. I would try scooping it out with a spoon. Sorry, family who got me these spoons that seem used this way. <laughs> yeah, they're nice spoons. Let's use the ninja or something. What? Do you want to use the coffee thing or the coffee thing? Because it's uh, smaller. The ninja will just whip it around. Do you want to? I don't think it's hitting the pumpkin. I think the pumpkin just moves to the side. Yeah, gets whipped up. Okay. Well, it's fairly mushy, so where'd the bowl go? I'm just gonna take scissors to it. spoon you break up the strings but maybe she's using a carving pumpkin you know what I mean yeah that mush looks different than hers what's the weirdest thing you use scissors for I'm going with it. Okay. So you don't make a lid for pumpkin pie. You do. For, th for this version. For this you do? do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. They made theirs into a jack-o'-lantern. Are you excited to make yours into a jack-o'-lantern? Yeah. I'm so artistic. <laughs> That 
pretty good, right? Yeah. Like, yum. Delish. Freaking yum. Okay. Sign me up. There's no sugar in there. <laughs> well, you're not a hamster. True. I wouldn't sign myself up for buckwheat either. This whole video is just complaining about buckwheat. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> it's not trick-or-treating with our hamsters or making treats for our hamsters or... Yeah, Halloween with the hamsters. 2020. I think I'm just going to make a cross. Okay. A little Christian. Christian channel. Like an anti vamp Maybe I'll... I don't have enough to do, like, cover the whole thing. So I think... Oh, butter came back for seconds on the buckwheat treat. Oh, well, that's positive. Good for us. This is my artistic spin. Well, well X. X marks the spot of deliciousness. Christ. <laughs> okay. And we're baking it at 300. Damn, we haven't even created the oven. Filming. So, took it out of the oven. We kept it in an extra five minutes. It is still so mushy. Like, so mushy. But again, like, it's not, nothing in here has to be cooked. There's not egg in anything. So we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Um, frankly, because I don't have the patience to, uh, to deal with it. Um, so we're just cutting it up into some little, like, smaller pieces that the hamsters can enjoy. Um, as a regular sized treat. So it looks more like, you know, a jack-o'-lantern sandwich. You know, like a cookie sandwich, kind of. A very gross one, but a sandwich nonetheless. 